As you travel around Australia, you can find out so much about our past, about our history. And sometimes there are secrets just waiting to be found. Take this place, it's Woomera, about a five hour drive north of Adelaide. This place was in the news recently because an immigration detention centre was set up here. But 50 years ago, it was also in the news. Weapons are transported to an airfield adjacent to the range head. From here, they're taken to the especially equipped test shops situated close to the launching platform. Now, there's no better place to come to get a real sense of how important Australia's role was in the Cold War. Now, that was the clash between Western democracies, such as America, Britain and Australia, and communist countries such as Russia and China. It was here at Woomera that Australia worked with Britain over a 30-year period to develop to trial and to launch some 4,000 rockets. Now these rockets would have been used against our anticipated enemies, Russia and the Eastern European Warsaw Pact countries, had we gone to war. But fortunately, that war never happened. This is rocket launcher 6A, perched on the banks of Lake Hart. Now in the 1960s, 10 rockets were launched from here. These launches were recorded by special cameras in these little pillboxes that we can see surrounding the launch site. Now observers at the time said that they recalled the sheer amount of energy, the fire and the smoke, as these rockets slowly launched themselves into the atmosphere. Now, this place doesn't seem very significant, but it is a reminder that Australia is once again involved in warfare, this time the war against terrorism. And that war requires the collection of information and the processing of key data. Now, this place was set up in 1971, and as you can see, it's a restricted area. I can't get access to this place. But if you look in the distance, you can see a white dome. And that dome was used for the collection of information from American satellites. Information about nuclear explosions, missile launches, and various other types of communication data. That data was then sent to Canberra and on to Washington for translation and interpretation. But after 30 years of operation, this joint American-Australian communication base closed down in 1999. But there are similar bases that are still operating today. About 700 kilometres from Adelaide and some 2,000 kilometres from Perth is Sejuna. And this is where lots of tourists come each year, hoping to get a glimpse of the southern right whale. But we've come here because Sejuna is also an extraordinarily important place in Australia's Cold War history. This is the little Sejuna schoolhouse. It was opened in 1914 and then closed in 1927. It's now a National Trust Museum. And I've been told that there's a special room in here which is dedicated to the testing of atomic bombs that occurred in the 1950s. Where were these bombs exploded? Not in Hiroshima or Nagasaki, but in Maralinga, about 400 kilometres from here on the South Australian, West Australian border. Let's go inside and see what we can find out. And this is a gem of a room. This tells us lots about our past. It tells us in the 1950s, Australians were very proud of this part of their history. Our atomic town, they called it. And these photos represent a part of that. You can also get a sense of the scope of the Maralinga project. We see here the layout of the village. You've even got hospitals and cinemas and swimming pools, tennis courts, officers' quarters, messes, all those sorts of things, very extensive. This was used for transporting radioactive material. Now those words radioactive tell us quite clearly how serious this aspect of our history was. Here we see the first bomb explosion at Maralinga. You can see the extent of this destruction. Uh, this particular thing over here, this is very sophisticated, it looks like a, one of the first computers that was ever made, but in fact it's radio equipment used in the air traffic control room at Maralinga. 
And up here we can see once again, you know, the pride of the unit that was associated with Maralinga. It's not exactly a secret that this happened, but few people know about it. And it's the mysteries associated with this place and these events that we want you to explore further. What are these mysteries? Look at this newsreel and you'll see. There are three things in the newsreel that we especially want you to investigate. One is this claim. Scientists await perfect weather conditions which will allow them to explode the devices with not the slightest risk of radioactive fallout. Well, if that's the case, why are these signs here? Another is this claim. The atomic cloud mushrooms high into the sky and once again Australian meteorologists on the spot have determined that there is no danger of the cloud passing anywhere near habitation. Well, what about the Aboriginal people who lived in the area and who talked about walking into the black mist after one of these blasts? And then there's the question of why the government spent 21 years secretly testing dead people's bones without their relatives' permission to see if the people showed increasing traces of strontium-90, a deadly poison created by an atomic blast. And what about this claim? Blasts that leave huge craters like this help Britain and Australia keep abreast of the atomic age. The atomic age? That refers to nuclear weapons and also nuclear power. Now, this place is a direct result of that. It's Australia's only nuclear reactor and it's here at Lucas Heights in Sydney. Now, it's a research facility and it can't produce atomic power or nuclear weapons. But when it was set up, the government thought that it might be able to do that. And it might in fact be one of many nuclear reactors throughout Australia. Now, if nuclear energy is such a cheap form of power, why aren't there more nuclear reactors or power stations throughout Australia? Now, what's happened over the years to change that vision? So, could Australia have become a nuclear power? And what do crushed bones have to do with Cold War secrets? These are the mysteries of Maralinga we want you to solve.